Greetings citizens of the world. This is a message to Vladimir Putin, from Anonymous. Mr. Putin. The ongoing invasion of Ukraine has shown that your regime has no respect for human rights, or the self-determination of your neighbors. In the past several days, a full-scale invasion has commenced, civilian neighborhoods have been bombed, and innocent people have been killed. Refugees are fleeing the violence and the population is being forced into conscription by Ukrainian officials. This is an ugly situation all around, but you are the instigator. You have criticized the US military and NATO for their occupation and bombardment of the Middle East, which is certainly a fair criticism, but you have shown that you are no better than the imperialist governments that you criticize, and the whole world can see through your propaganda. Even the citizens that you are claiming to protect are entirely against the war and protesting across dozens of major cities in Russia. Your tyrannical response to the Russian anti-war protesters will only spark further unrest among the Russian people, who are suffering the consequences of your foolish actions. The sanctions will hurt your citizens far more than they will hurt you, which is why the sanctions are not a proper deterrent. Now, the most popular resistance will come from within. It turns that your ambitions for conquest are much greater than you are willing to admit. If you continue on this path, you will continue to lose support among Russian citizens, other countries around the world will refuse to cooperate with you, and you will face unprecedented cyber attacks from all corners of the world. Members of Anonymous have declared cyber war against your aggressive regime, with numerous government websites being taken offline in the past several days. A few downed websites is only the beginning though, soon you will feel the full wrath of the world's hackers, many of whom will likely reside from your home country. Your secrets may no longer be safe, and there is a chance that key components of your government's infrastructure could be hijacked. Now with the invasion of Ukraine, the previous invasions of Georgia and Crimea are starting to come into focus and show a clear strategy for Russia to recapture key areas that were once held by the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union failed many years ago and the world has not forgotten the brutality of that regime. The people of the world will resist you every step of the way. This is not a war that you can win regardless of how powerful you think you are. We are anonymous. We are a legion. Expect us.